in this video we are going to see top 20 kafka interview question and answers so let's get started so before that we will see a brief introduction towards kafka so kafka is a distributed streaming platform that handles real time data feeds and event processing it enables the building of scalable fault tolerant system for publishing and subscribing to stream of records so here is our question number 1 what is kafka producer a Kafka producer is a component responsible for publishing messages or records to a Kafka topics. It sends data to a Kafka broker and is designed for high throughput and fault tolerance. So question number two is what is Kafka topic? A Kafka topic is a virtual channel or a category where records or messages are published by producer and are consumed by the consumer. So producer writes the messages on this Kafka topic and consumer is going to read the messages from this Kafka topic. So what is a Kafka broker? A Kafka broker is a server that hosts Kafka topics and serves as a node in a Kafka cluster. Broker are responsible for receiving, storing and serving records as well as handling replication, partitioning and communication with producer and consumers. So our next question is what is Kafka consumer? A Kafka consumer is a component responsible for subscribing and processing messages from the Kafka topics. So these are the messages which are produced by Kafka producer and are consumed or subscribed by the Kafka consumer. It reads data from the partitions and maintains its offset to keep track of the last processed message. So next question is how are Kafka topics partitioned and why are they partitioned? So Kafka topics are divided into partitions to parallelize the processing and provide scalability. Each partition is an ordered immutable sequence of records and multiple partitions enable multiple consumers to process data concurrently. So explain Kafka topic replication. So Kafka replicates topic partitions across multiple broker nodes for fault tolerance. Each partition has one leader and multiple follower nodes or the replicas you can say. Replication ensure that data is not lost even if a broker or partition become unavailable or are down. What is the role of an offset? In partitions, messages are assigned a unique ID number called the offset. The role of the offset is to identify each message in the partition uniquely. Describe the role of Kafka Jewkeeper in broker management. Kafka uses Jewkeeper for distributed coordination and management tasks. Jewkeeper maintains the metadata about the brokers, topics and partitions, help in leader election and stores consumer group offset. It ensures the integrity and consistency of the Kafka cluster. So next question is, can Kafka be used without Jewkeeper? So it is not possible to connect directly to the Kafka server by bypassing the Jewkeeper. Any client request cannot be served if Jewkeeper is down or is not active. In Kafka, why are replication critical? Replication are critical as they ensures the published messages can be consumed in the event of any program error or machine error and are not lost. So what is partitioning key? The partitioning key indicates the destination partition of the message within the producer. A hashing based partition determines the partition ID when the key is given. How does Kafka ensure high availability of brokers? Kafka ensures high availability by replicating data across multiple brokers. If a broker fails, another broker with a replica of the data can take over. Additionally, using multiple Jewkeeper nodes, contributes to the fault tolerance and high availability of the Kafka cluster. When does the queue full exception occur in the producers? The queue full exception occurs when the producer attempt to send message at a pace not handled by the broker. That means the pace with which producer is sending is very high and, and the broker is not able to handle it. Then we get this exception. So what is Kafka consumer group? A Kafka consumer group is logical grouping of consumer that collaborate to consume messages from the Kafka topic. Each consumer in the group processes a subset of partitions allowing for the parallel message processing. Explain the role of consumer offset in Kafka. 
कंज्यूमर ऑफसेट इन काफका इज अ पोजिशन और इंडेक्स रिप्रेजेंटिंग द लास्ट सक्सेसफुली प्रोसेस्ड मैसेज इन अ पार्टीशन कंज्यूमर मैनेज ऑफसेट टू ट्रैक देर प्रोग्रेस इन दी काफका मैसेज एंड कमिट ऑफसेट टू काफका to indicate the last processed message with this we can see like the last message which was processed by consumer 1 was this one if consumer 1 goes down and another consumer comes up in this place then we should know like which message uh, was read last by the consumer 1 so that particular thing we can handle it with this offset consumer offset how does kafka ensures fault tolerance for consumer group Kafka ensures a fault tolerance for replicating data across multiple broker nodes. In a consumer group, if a consumer fails, another consumer in the same group can take over processing, and the group dynamically rebalances to distribute partitions. What does follower and leader in Kafka mean? Partitions are created in Kafka based on the consumer groups and offset. One server in the partition serves as the leader. and one or more servers act as a follower the leader assigns itself task that read and write partition request followers follow the leader and replicate what is being told differentiate between the push and pull model in kafka consumer in kafka consumer can either pull data at their own pace which is basically called the pull model or receive messages actively pushed by the broker which is called the push mode push model The default is a pull model, where consumer control when they want to fetch the data or when they don't want to fetch the data. So now the next question is, what is a smart producer or a dump broker? A smart producer or a dump broker is a broker that does not attempt to track which message have been read by the consumer. It only retains unread messages. What is a Kafka consumer offset? a kafka consumer offset is a numeric value representing the position within a partition up to which a consumer has successfully processed the messages it indicates the last committed message is position so it will tell you like the consumer till what the consumer has read the messages that will be done by the offset i mean offset will indicate like till this point the consumer has read the message now the next message we have to read it from after this particular point or the offset so in this video this much only if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel thank you